All right, so if you haven't seen the last two videos, I would recommend going back and looking at those two videos. These are how to do a structured text timer um, in several different ways to reset them, a standard way to reset it, and coming and watching their, their uh, routine as far as that goes, and coming in and watching it from here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add on a, another little function. We're gonna call an if then else to actually control a bit if the actual timer again the timer is between you know is, is accumulating a value so the ACC is between X amount of things so right now the accumulated value we're gonna change the accumulated value of this come in here and edit this we're gonna change the accumulated value here to 10 seconds okay so that's 10 seconds now and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna have if uh, I was actually editing something so let me grab this tag again so that was the app server that I was actually building for uh, I built years ago transition it to 32 now um, that way we can actually benefit from that too as well so um, if the sample sample timer ACC right and we're gonna say is uh, greater than or is Actually, let's say greater than uh, 1,000, and the sample timer ACC is less than, let's just say less than uh, 8. Let's just do this. Let's, let's change this from two to eight. <clears throat> then what we'll do is we'll create a bit and this bit will be called, we'll call this uh, light one on. Okay, so we got light one on. What we can do is, is change this to a bull and what we'll do is we'll call that light one on and we'll illustrate that to a one. <clears throat> now close the statement and then we'll go back to this and say else light, light one off. So it's very, very, very simple logic. Um, nothing really to it, but we will and we're going to end if we will come back and actually edit this um, and actually show you I'm going to actually add a, a light on the actual trainer because again we're, we're making this more you know more fluent and e easier to read too so so we want to come in here and add these in here so now we're going to watch this and we're going to see this so we're going to come in here and actually we'll, we'll do this too so we'll come in and see the values you can see it right there, right? You can see if if the ACC is less or greater than two, less than eight, right? So basically eight, 2,000, 8,000, then it's gonna cut it on, and then if it's outside of those windows, it's gonna cut it off. So you see that it's actually working, right? You can use this, you can look in the, uh, the actual, the, um, watch window down here too but this is how much beneficial this toggle inline view the values for it this is how much beneficial that is right you can actually see this stuff live and understand the data behind it because a large comprehension behind like structure text and like learning how things were working or even going back and troubleshooting stuff that people have prior done on earlier versions was really kind of hard because you all you have was a watch window and all you have was a trend window right now, largely for those that were doing that, those are still tools to still use. And now you have this watch window you can use. So let's actually save this. And now let's go offline and add that light one tag to an actual output. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go offline. We're going to go offline here. And I had to stop the trend. And we're going to add a... Uh, new module <clears throat> this new module is going to be a digital imp or digital output 
the digital output that we currently have and we're going to come in and get it from here we're going to get our properties from here we're going to copy that we're going to paste that in here so that we get the proper one is you know <clears throat> when it comes down to it you, you really need to make sure you have the proper stuff so that's just a that's an AI okay so what I want to do is make sure I have the right one so this is the right one we have and that's just as simple as it is alright you can come in and, and use this stuff based upon looking through your RS links if you already have it set up we'll call this uh, digital digital outputs and this is in slot 4 and we're gonna click OK so we're gonna close that out and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this tag to match one of our lights right so now we're gonna edit it we're gonna come back in here change this to an alias we're gonna come down here and get the output we're gonna change this to output 0 so now I'm gonna actually show you this working on a live trainer right on the live trainer that we have you can actually see this working and that way you can see all of this stuff actually you know coming just full circle for you right I mean so let's quickly download I mean it just re really really drives all this stuff home like how to use it right so I mean especially seeing an actual device cut on I mean it, it's just that simple okay so as we're, we're downloading we're gonna come back in here we're gonna change this back up to remote run to pro or to actually run and we're allowed to do that right now and then we'll come down here and you should see the light cutting on so and again the light will come on and it will cut off right so now it's off it's on now it's off right now okay so again we can change these values and we can even have these you know whatever we want to but I wanted to show you another simple example of a structure text timer being used in a process to control something so say this could be something really 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 simple we're not doing any, anything really complex so structure text I think structure text people think that structure text has to be used for something really like like robust and, and maybe advanced mathematics or something like that it can be really really simple like state machines uh, light controls um, sequencers you know just anything that you think of that could be done and be done properly and and again how much more fluent this is based upon using you know basically this watch feature this inline watch feature right this is really really cool because now you have the simple fact of we've already you know added all this stuff and now we can come back in here and watch it just like that so it's really really a, a great process that they're they're moving towards and how this is getting more effective to as us as programmers and troubleshooters and and technicians to make things a lot better right so <clears throat> just note that you know this is a, another video to show you another simple example of how to use structure text and again if you like this please share it please you know like like the uh, video and you know subscribe to our channel I mean we're putting stuff like this out all the time if you haven't seen the last two videos where we built the logic that we have right now please go back and watch those two videos you know because again you're just missing out value if you don't but again they're short videos to the point and again i appreciate you guys support and we'll see you on the next one